podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, good news all around for Acadiana. Finally, our soggy pattern coming to an end, unfortunately with at the expense of higher heat, but nothing out of the ordinary for late July into early August. We do have a new tropical storm out there, but it's not going to be impacting the Gulf of Mexico by any stretch of the imagination for now. Forecast track keeps it away from our part of the world, and that is certainly good news. And we set it up with a water vapor imagery here, and we have high pressure aloft that's built in. This is going to slide a little bit farther to the west to a allow this upper level low to come down here by uh, we'll say Mississippi and Alabama as we head into the weekend and that's going to allow uh, whatever tropical system we have going to make a northward turn going around the periphery of this Bermuda high and more than likely threaten not only the Caribbean but the Bahamas, Florida and maybe up through the Carolinas as well. Meanwhile, locally, here's a six hour loop. We did have some pretty healthy showers and storms western portions of Acadiana, northwestern portions of the area, including all the way over to St. Landry Parish late this afternoon early this evening, but all is quiet and we're going to be in a pattern where we see fewer showers and storms across the region. Opening it on up, taking a look at the big picture, we have our storm over here out in the rest of the Atlantic. Nothing really overly organized. In fact, uh, the global pattern is not going to support additional tropical activity, at least for maybe a week uh, beyond our newest tropical storm that developed uh, late this evening as we saw satellite imagery finally bursting out over a new center that uh, we found a closed center there, all with satellites, not with the recon today, uh, this evening rather, and uh, thus this upgraded from potential tropical cyclone number nine to tropical storm Isaias. Now Isaias is south of Puerto Rico. It's moving to the west northwest at 20, so it's moving smartly, and we think it's going to be crossing a good part of Hispaniola from the Dominican Republic over to Haiti, and this is a very mountainous area, so that usually is a tropical storm shredder, and we think it's going to weaken significantly but nonetheless get back over open water and then threaten the Bahamas. We have her, uh, tropical storm watches from the central Bahamas on southeastward through the Turks and Caicos and uh, tropical storm watches for the rest of the Bahamas. And by tomorrow, maybe tropical storm watches on the way for South Florida. So this is the National Hurricane Center's forecast track as expected a little bit farther to the east and in lockstep with the European model from earlier today brings it up to a pretty strong tropical storm here over by the Bahamas and east coast of Florida. Uh, so we're going to have to watch this for our friends, especially all the way up through coastal Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. And this does have hurricane potential if the forecast track is a little bit east of this and it does a pretty good job of surviving the Dominican Republic and Haiti and stays away from Cuba. So we'll watch that could become a hurricane, low end hurricane, but nonetheless a threat for portions of the southeast. And we see that with the European model pretty much showing us where the system is going to go. Uh, this model pretty much right on with the latest National Hurricane Center advisory and then scraping up along the East Coast. Meanwhile, drier than normal conditions with occasional moisture in our area means rain chances on and off, but all that deep tropical moisture and that whole mess going up the East Coast and not impacting our part of the world. So a relatively sedate forecast for Acadiana over the next week to 10 days, the way it's shaping up. So tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies. Wow, latest model run showing a few more showers out there, but we're going to stick with 20% on the rain chances. We'll watch the trend tune into GMA in the morning. They'll have the latest models and have a better trend on that. And future cast also indicating much the same for Friday here. I think rain chance down to 10%. So we're going to be dry for a couple of days, but rain chance is bouncing up with that upper level trough that's coming in as we head into the weekend. So 76 the low tonight, a quiet night tomorrow. Summer's back, partly sunny skies. The heat index in the low 100s, temperatures in the lower 90s, and a few isolated to widely scattered showers and storms. Pretty quiet pattern over the next couple of days this weekend. We'll see a few more afternoon storms, but uh, nothing that's going to ruin the weekend. And that pattern continues as we go well into next week. Marcel. All righty. Thank you, Rob.